Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is my second part of the video in which I will solve the problem 11.12 from the book. And in the previous video, I have solved it for the conversion. Now in this video, I will solve it for the activity. Let's go to the mini type file. The data has been already put in the previous video. So let's go to the stat for the analysis, DOE, then response surface, then analyze response surface design. Here I will select the viscosity, again go to the graph, select 4 in 1, click OK, now go to the terms, select all of the terms, there are two terms right there, move shift them to there so that we will include all of the terms in the model, click OK and then click OK. So you got the result, click on it here to view on the results, you can see that 89.18% variation in the viscosity has been explained by the temperature, time and the catalyst. And over table will tell us that which of the factors are found to be significant and insignificant. We will take this decision based upon the p-value. If the p-value is less than 0 0.05, the 0 0.05 is our significance level, usually taken, usually known as alpha. So you can see that uh, p-value of the temperature and the catalyst, they are less than 0 0.05, so they are found to be significant. Likewise, in the scale terms, none of the scale term is found to be significant and none of the two-way interaction is found to be significant. Now, based upon the p-values, we can ignore our scale term as well as our two-way interaction term. So, how we will improve the model? Go to the stat, again DOE, response surface, analyze response surface design. And here we know that we have to keep only temperature and catalyst tone in our model. So, go to the terms. Ignore all of the term shift there and just move only temperature and catalyst. So click OK and then click OK. We will get our improved model. So based upon this improved model, 84.68% variation in the response variable viscosity is explained by the by only temperature and the catalyst. So now we will make the graph control plot but only of temperature and catalyst because we are interested only in these two. So select here uh, we see that temperature and the catalyst okay fine each and everything is good go ahead okay. So you got your response control plot. So the control plot interpretation is that at the high level of temperature and high catalyst quantity we will get over viscosity maximum but in most of the cases we want to minimize the viscosity. So it is suggested that the low level of the catalyst and low temperature will result in decrease or minimization of the viscosity. However, as per the problem statement, we have to the targeted value for the viscosity is between 55 to 65. So in this range where you can see it's you can see a greenish color, not very light, not very dark, medium. So this region is quite interesting. You can see where my cursor is. I have to optimize both of the response variable, one from the previous video and viscosity from this video. So DOE, response surface and response surface optimizer. Here we say I have two response variables. One of them is conversion and the second one is viscosity. Conversion, I want to maximize as per the question statement. Viscosity, I have a targeted value. Click on it, then go to setup, we say that as per the question statement we have uh, to we have to target the value between 55 to 65 so i say I, the target value is 60 now go to the setup in the target uh, the upper value should be 65 the lower value should be 55 and then click ok here we want to maximize the conversion and each and everything is ok in the graph click on optimization plot this is the most important one and then click ok so we got our response surface optim optimization plot here it can say that in order to achieve both of the response variable with a composite desirability of 0.98 that's quite good we have an ideal value of the composite desirability is one so both of the responses can be achieved in when we have temperature at a level of minus 0.07 what's this it is basically we have coded data so 1.1 1 1.68 is the axial point at positive and minus 1.68 is the at the lower level lower level so we have to multiply this value this coded coefficient with the actual temperature setting likewise 
we have to keep keep the temperature at we have to keep the time at the maximum 1.68 at the axial point and likewise we have to keep the catalyst at minus 0.1058 so if you are confused with the value, these values i suggest you to please care conduct to please carry out the whole analysis using uncoded data you can see it here that in the problem 11.12 i have the whole data in minus 1 and plus 1 so this is the coded data hopefully uh, you understand what i want to say if you have any question you can ask me thanks for watching the video bye